on the bench this morning, I have a Sony STR 7055 7374 model. It's built like a tank. It's a huge receiver. Call this a receiver because it does receive AM and FM. The issue with this is uh, the customer brought it in because he stepped, it was on the floor and he stepped on the on and off button and it, it broke off. So he wants to see if I can repair that. These are really hard to get if you have to replace that. All the grill here is missing. What I'm about to do together, we're going to open this up. Ready? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to repair the switch. And there it is right here. I'm hoping it just it just snapped off so I might be able to screw it back in. I'm not sure. My next step is I'm going to take the bottom plate off. If I There the bottom plate is off and this is where the switch is. This has got a little groove in between so it goes right in, almost as if it was made for this. And it comes right out. I can't pull it out with my hand so I'll have to need a little bit of help. There you go. And this is the injured switch. This is the power on and off switch by the way. It's ready to come off. And there you have it. Man, I swear this weighs about four pounds. The biggest task for me is going to be to glue these pieces together up here. And I believe that I can do it. This is a little bent. And all I need to do is, is get these ones straight so I can actually, when I've glued this back in, I'll set it in place and then I can re-bent this over. And that should that should do it.
I needed four hands to put this back together. This is the inside here is uh, spring loaded, and I had to press uh, on this part and then slide this uh, metal plate. Uh, so it, it, it did give me a little bit of a challenge. Anyways, this is where I glued it on the side. And it's, I just wanted to show you guys that it's holding on really nicely. And what I've done, I, I wanted to explain to you guys what I've done is uh, the contact inside were where the contact were the on position uh, previously was burnt. The contacts really look bad, so I've decided that this bottom, this one here, was neutral. It never, it's, it was never used. So I've just switched it around that the on button now is on this side. So anyways, there's the finished product. I just wanted to show you guys that. So there you can see that where I glued it. And it's holding on really nicely. So it turned out pretty good. I'm going to put the my camera on stand. And I'll show you how it's working. Just give me a minute. There we have it. All set to... There, I think it's going to work. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this back where it's supposed to be, here. And I'll be able to turn the receiver on and see if it's actually working. back on them now because something tells me that I need to change this light bulb <laughs> just look at it I don't know if you guys can see this but I don't know if this is working or not so I may I will definitely change it but I'll isolate this so it doesn't it's not touching anything and I'm gonna power it off you guys ready on that light is still working can you believe this this one over here is not though I'm definitely gonna look into this uh, while I have all this uh, the front plate off I'm gonna definitely clean but I'm pretty excited that my switch is working Perfect. There, this is going to end part one of this video. Part one is basically just to repair the switch so I can actually turn it on and see if there's any other issues that I can find with this. You, need, you kind of need the power on for that. So I've fixed the switch. We'll end this video here. This, if you like part one of my video, please like. Uh, comments as well. And I would really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for part two. We'll service this whole receiver. It's going to be a lot of fun.